a new vlog it feels so weird to be vlogging i have had the strangest week up until like sunday monday monday things tipped i'd been feeling really good in my experience during lockdown you have a couple of good days a couple of like meth days and it's like this little like wave that you gotta ride but i'd had like a good week or so i'd say of like feeling really good really positive everything seems to be going right and then Monday hit. And between Monday and Wednesday, I feel like she's really hit the fan, you know? Just everyone that I know, myself included, just seem to be having the worst week. And like, it's bad news after bad news after bad news. And by Tuesday night, the tears started. And then yesterday, Wednesday, like the clips that you have already seen, those were yesterday. I have not worked out or had a coffee this morning. I actually have a banging headache, so I'm really looking forward to my decaf iced latte. But yeah, yesterday, every 10 minutes, I was just crying because I just was like, processing a lot of things but yeah it's been a week and on top of that Nala's not been well so I've been trying to get that sorted and in amongst juggling literally the rest of life and it has been a lot hence my anxiety hangover there's just the stress is really getting me right here but we move we are back I am having a slower day today and by slower day I mean I've already shot a brand deal and I ha definitely have another one to do and I definitely have a video to upload but basically I'm just not cramming 50,000 other things into my day today I've decided I'm gonna take some time I'm gonna snuggle the dog because she needs it. I also really tried to get back on my fitness this week, which given the fact that it's been such a roller coaster of a week has not gone exactly according to plan, but I have worked out, so good start. And certain muscles now feel like they actually exist, like they're screaming at me. But it's good because I actually haven't worked out properly, I, I think since maybe like September, like regularly, you know? So once I'm properly like in a routine with that, it will probably take you through it. I feel more in limbo right now than I've ever been. Like everyone just feels like they're waiting for April. We're waiting for that spring weather to kick in. We're waiting for that kind of like just being allowed to see people. It feels really limbo and I don't like wishing away time. So I'm trying to really like be in the present. And the way I like to do that is by giving myself a bit more time, reading a lot, eating good food, just taking things like a little bit slower. So that is my week so far. That is where we're at. That is my life update. I'm gonna stop rambling now. I actually have, I don't know if you can see, there is a lot of stuff behind me that I wanted to show you. I've got a lot of new spring pieces that have come in. I love them. I'm also really excited by the way, my Zara haul is going live today. So it means that I can start wearing the things from my Zara haul because I was trying not to spoil it too much. One of the things I hate doing is filming a Zara haul, then showing you guys everything on Instagram. It all sells out and by the time I upload the Zara haul, all of you guys on YouTube are like, where is the stuff? Where are the links? So very happy that I can finally crack this little yellow body out because it's just the happiest color. It makes me so happy wearing this. This shirt is also the happiest color. I am obsessed with this. I'm gonna get up and show you. I love this. This is from Lorna's In The Style collection. It is beautiful, super like billowy. There is also this little like bralette that goes with it. It's gonna be really hard to show you because it's just a lot of lace really, isn't it? It's absolutely stunning and it works really nicely underneath. This is quite sheer. So having this underneath is nice because it's like the exact same color. Also got this dress from Nasty Girl that's come in and I just think it's gorgeous. I've got a belt that I have tied around the middle. It's one of those ones that you have to kind of like tie yourself. It looks much cooler on the website and then when you get it, it's just like this really, really long belt. It's crazy. So I'm going to try and like style that up. But I think the dress is going to be a real winner. Just one of those really timeless pieces, but really great for spring because it's got longer sleeves and it also has elasticated cuffs and necklines. So it's going to kind of keep the heat in a little bit more, but also great for like summer on cooler days. It would be perfect. We also have these shoes that arrived yesterday. I could not resist these on Zara. They actually look like a more primary colored blue on camera in the viewfinder, but they're this like gorgeous dusky blue. They are absolutely stunning. And honestly, I put them on, they fit like a glove and they're actually so comfortable. I love that High Street Shoes are now putting this padding in. It makes the world a difference. And I thought these would be a lovely addition to if I wanna wear like jeans and a shirt, just like a really simple outfit during spring, summer, these would really, snazzy it up a little bit you know then we have this shirt which arrived this morning it's from revolve i'm not so sure on it it's actually so long so so long it might not be a winner i think i would have to wear it as a dress and like belt it because it basically comes down to my knees but i thought it could look so cute if it was tucked with my high-waisted stirrup leggings which i got they're in the zara haul i will link the zara haul if you want to watch it i think it would look so cute with those all saints also sent me this dress which is just Stunning. I've also got a belt to go with it from All Saints, but I might put my own black belt with it. I just thought this would be a really beautiful 
summer dress and then i've got these boots which i've actually been wearing a lot they're like snake print chunky boots they're actually really light and i love that they're not huge and clumpy they are quite thick on the sole but this material here is so like thin and they're really light because of that which is great i also have this from zara which i wore last night and I am obsessed with it. This is the smallest top in the world, by the way. And I think even if you went for the size up, it would still be the smallest top in the world. It's just cut that way. I had to go a size up in the shorts just because they actually didn't have any other sizes available. They fit okay, they're a tiny bit gapy at the small of my back, but other than that, so comfy and the cutest color. I then have had this arrive, which has a few pieces from Savage Fenty, and I'm so excited to try these on. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to try them on with you because I don't know how, if they're not too sheer i'll show you what they look like i've had a lot of you asking for like underwear holes they're honestly the hardest thing to do because you're not allowed to basically show a nipple on anywhere on the internet we don't want the video taken down so i will do my best and i will show you but these are gorgeous just really nice soft bras which i know you guys have been loving from the feedback on my reels which is so great this collection that savage fenty have just launched is so good all right real mood lifting colors as well but i obviously couldn't resist going for the black this lace is so nice in the meantime i'm gonna make myself something to eat have a little drink because the car dealers are meant to be calling me back and we don't want them interrupting us do we that is still ongoing <laughs> Yeah, that was my ringtone. <laughs> Please hold. Okay, I'm back. The new car has been ordered. I'm very excited. There are a few people in a recent vlog where I first talked about the car situation. I'll link that vlog if you haven't seen it. But a few people were like, why are you leaving us hanging? Why aren't you telling us what car you're getting? And I'm obviously going to save it because I'm that annoying YouTuber. I'm going to save it for a reveal. So I'm hoping this is the sign of my week turning itself around, flipping on its head, and we're gonna, the universe is gonna give us back some goodness. On the note of goodness, look at these shoes. I'm so obsessed with them. They are honestly so comfortable. They just look so cute as well. Like they fit so well. I think they're so flattering. Like where it finishes around like the base of the foot and the toe, it looks really flattering. I don't know, I just love it. It makes my feet look good and I, very rarely say that. Also, will not be wearing them with this outfit because I feel like this outfit resembles my mum's kitchen in 1997. This <laughs> blue and yellow is not a vibe. So this is the bralette from Lorna's collection. I'm gonna have to hold my arms like this with all of the sheer ones. But just to give you an idea of what it looks like and what the fit is kind of like, this is it. I believe I got a size small. I will double check and pop sizing information in the info box for you guys. But I love this. It's so comfortable. For me, it's a really nice one to wear around the house. Like it's just me and Ryan, you know, so I don't have to worry about it being particularly inappropriate. Understand that that is not the case for everyone, but it's a lovely one to have under like shirts and blouses and things like that as well, like under cardigans as well. If you've got like a V-neck cardigan, this kind of like pokes out a little bit and it looks so cute. And I really like the fact that it's quite wide, if you know what I mean, like compared to like a normal triangle soft bra. And then this is the shirt. I've left it untucked for a second just so you can really see the length of it. I would have loved for this to have been done in a dress version as well. Just a little bit longer with some underlining underneath. This would have made the cutest dress too. I was gonna buy this oversized and then put one of my own slip dresses underneath, but I was just not sure. It felt a bit risky. And I did want to wear this as a top as well. So yeah, I just went for, I think a 10 in this because I did want it to be a little bit longer just so I had the option to have it kind of floaty like this with leggings and have almost like a dress vibe. I could also still tuck it as well. I've done a reel on this where I've tucked it both into my my bra and then I've done a little tuck like this as well something like that it looked better with the leggings it kind of hit at a different point I really like it tucked as well like when it's all tucked it looks so cute so yeah you can have the sleeves rolled up like this as well if you want to which is a really nice option for spring summer as well when it's a little bit warmer so this dress not sure if it needs a wash and a steam because it's quite a shirt like material and it's quite stiff and i just find it's not really sitting in the most flattering way so maybe it just needs to soften a bit and i definitely think a wash and a steam always does that but yeah because of that it's really hard to tell whether i like this or not also the belt is too big so i don't know if you can see there i've had to like have a weird little situation going on and i don't know if it would actually look better with a black belt because i think over the spring i'm more likely to wear this with black boots and that would tie in really nicely together so that is a possibility this gives me throwbacks to when we used to dress up at school when you had to do like victorian studies when you're a kid when you're like i think i was like 10 years old and we had to dress up and go to like this weird haunted manor in brighton or something like that and we all had to wear like little bonnets on our heads but yeah this really gives me throwbacks to that so not sure if i love it let me know your thoughts so this dress actually makes me feel 
like I should be on a beach somewhere. I love it. I'm actually having to hold the belt in because it is so big. I don't think you can really see from There we go. They sent it to me in a small medium, which sadly is not working out for me. So I'm going to style it with my own black thick waist belt. It's just, I wanted to give the All Saints one a go because that was how they'd styled it on the website. Okay, much better i've just paired it with black boots as well these are from asos i've had these for years now i think this dress is lovely it has the lining underneath which keeps you nice and covered and then it also like has a bit of a split which is really really cute i think you could really dress this up or casual it down it's also a great one for wearing kind of earlier spring because you can wear it with like a trench coat leather jacket this would look amazing with a leather jacket especially if it was a bit more cropped it would look so cute but then you can still wear it in the summer with a really nice pair of tan sandals and a little like beach bag so yeah slightly more expensive because it is all saints but a really nice spring summer piece i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i'm praying for like an april heat wave like i can't tell you how great that would be so this is the little zara co-ord number as you can see like I said, it is very small on the top. Very, very small. I love it though. The color, it just makes me so happy. I think this year more than ever has been a year where I'm just like, screw the neutrals. I need like a little bit of joy in my life. So yeah, this is a really cute little set. But what I would say is that if you just don't like your boobs being on show or the potential for them to be popping out, you're not gonna like this top at all. The shorts are actually really cute. I really like them, but they do, as you can see, they've got a little bit of movement there but that's fine for me i'm just going to be wearing them around the house as like comfy clothes they're a really nice alternative to skims like very much the same feel i actually have a brown set like this but with a more covering top this shirt actually goes quite well in terms of color with the shorts but yeah like i said it is long on me i've just belted it around the waist just to give me a little bit of shape but i do think if it was folded and tucked that it would go really nicely with something high-waisted so i'm going to show you it with my what are they called? Stirrup leggings, that's the one. So this is the shirt tucked into my stirrup leggings. It needs a little bit of a steam, but just bear with it. These are leggings that you need to get acquainted with. They're basically like trousery leggings, like literally the most comfy trousers I've ever had in my life. But what I've done is tucked the shirt up all the way up into my bra, and then it hangs down to about here. And then I've just tucked the overhang into my leggings. Yeah, let me know on this one. I feel like it's a great spring piece because it's definitely one that I can wear right now, which I think we're all really looking for at the moment is spring pieces we can wear right now. So yeah, it works really well in the like theme of spring, but, but like right now, but I just don't know. Oh, it's just such a pretty color, but I don't know if it's just a bit too long. Let me know what you think. I also forgot this trench coat that I really wanted to show you. I saw my friend Lorna wearing this and it looked so cute on her. So I decided that I needed to have it. It's this really long trench coat from Misguided in the most beautiful like sandy tan color. I'm wearing it with flats right now so that everyone that is my height can see how long it is. It's literally like perfect long, like full maxi trench coat length for me. With boots, it would obviously be that much further off the ground, which is great but it does work when I'm in flats as well. I'm wearing the Gucci loafers, which some of you might remember from years ago. I have been enjoying these so much the past couple of weeks. They were actually in my big Depop box. When I was going through it, I was like, I know they're in there, but I actually really want them to, for styling with my stirrup leggings. I just think the trench coat pairs so beautifully over the two of them. I've just got a black kind of tight top on from Zara. It's in the hall as well. It's not too dressy when you take the trench coat off either, but the trench coat works so nicely, whether I'm wearing like a black tracksuit set underneath and trainers or like flat shoes boots it's a really good staple piece to have in your wardrobe i have actually i've filmed a reel which should be going up today where i belt it as well and i have a different kind of shirt on underneath same trousers and shoes but just if you want a little bit of inspo for how you could belt it i've just done a reel on it so i will link it okay bralette number one i actually i really need to tan my chest does anyone else's chest just lose tan like the quickest is so weird i have these in a size small and they fit so nicely not too tight not too loose just like that, that perfect fit they have adjustable straps which i love there's no clasp at the back so bear that in mind when choosing your size you do have to put them over your head but i would say they're a really nice roomy small it's not like when you get a bralette from some other retailers and you're like this wouldn't even cover my little toe like what is this what is this sizing i would say pick your regular size there's no need to size up for reference i am a 30 I would say a 34 
B. But yeah, very cute. I will show you the other colors now. I'm obsessed with this color. I think it's so nice. If you're wearing something where the bra is kind of like pops out a little bit and you can have that little pop of color, I think it's really nice. But also if I were wearing like a black cardigan where I have my V-neck but you can't actually see my bras underneath. I think when you're wearing something that's quite plain and like dark colored and you can really get away with having fun underwear on, this is it for me. Yeah, this is so cute. I really love the lace as well. Like the quality feels so good. This is such a fun springy color, like a real pop of red. It's almost like a muted neon where it's not ridiculously garishly bright. It's just really beautiful. It's hard to describe the tone, like a real corally kind of red. It's so beautiful. I have to say I've been really impressed with these bralettes. I've tried on a lot of bralettes lately trying to find the perfect ones for like reels and having new ones so that I can actually recommend bralettes for you guys and these have been my favourite so far. I think there's one other bralette that I got and it was in a reel. I got it off ASOS but it was a brand and it was like green lace here, purple strap, blue band, blue on the back. It was so cool. That and these have been my absolute favorites that I found over the past couple of months. So would definitely recommend. I'm gonna try the thongs on separately and I'll leave a little note on sizing and fit in the info box, but I feel like we really don't need to see my bum. I think that's it from me. I'm gonna put some clothes on now. I'm gonna go make myself some lunch and take some tablets on my head because there is a party going on in here and someone needs to turn the music down, you guys. Like, it's not cute. So I have eaten, I have taken some headache tablets, so cheers to that. I'm just about to touch my makeup up to film something. I have quite a few like chunky projects on at the moment. So I'm like filming multiple things, like lots and lots and lots of different things in a day. But I thought I would chat to you and show you a few things that I'm enjoying in my makeup routine whilst I do it. Call this a little like monthly favorites, if you will. I'm gonna talk to you firstly about the mascara I've been wearing today. I've really been enjoying this. It's the Kevin Aquan Indecent Mascara. I got sent this early to try ahead of its launch and I loved it. So this is what my lashes are looking like. It's like similar vibes to my favorite Lashtopia however it goes on in half the time because it's a much more like wet formula like one coat and your lashes are done it's really really gorgeous this eye just looks a little bit dodgy because the lashes on this eye at the moment are not good like <laughs> they hate me but I feel like this eye is always like a good road test of a mascara and then I've also been using this from Kevin Aquan it's their true feather brow marker gel duo it's so good so if you've watched my youtube videos before like my beauty videos you will know I'm obsessed with Nikki Wolf and her makeup videos on Instagram. And I'm always trying to like recreate her brow looks. Like she does the most fluffy brows. They're honestly incredible. And I obviously don't have like amazing fluffy brows. But if you like that vibe, this will give you it. I'm obsessed. You can do like long strokes with it like this. So you get like real long brow hairs, but then you can also do like really tiny ones and like build it. That's a really poor example. But that's basically what I've done today. I've done loads of like tiny little brow hairs. I mean, I really didn't need to do any more because I did so many this morning. I get really addicted to doing it. It's not, it's not ideal. It also has a gel on the end, which is great. My brows are being very rebellious today though. Like this brow is not behaving. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of soap brows because soap brows, sometimes I find you can really botch it. But if you're lucky, sometimes it really does you a solid. I think the brow gel is much more reliable. But the soap brows, if you've got like very thick eyebrows like I do, soap brows is very necessary however it depends on how slick you want your eyebrows to be if they don't go vertical i don't want to know but anyway really obsessed with like the little brow straights you can get with this it's actually very difficult to touch up my eyebrows right now because the light is so bad but yeah obsessed with sight brows obsessed with the kevin con brow feather marker gel duo did i get the order of that right it's honestly the longest product name i've read out in quite a while this bronzer i've been loving it's the giorgio armani luminous silk glow fusion powder shade seven i hit pan on it Oh, well, at least we all know I've really been enjoying it. I really, really like this bronzer. It's like the perfect color. It lasts really, really well as well. I'm getting asked a lot at the moment what my lip color is. It's this one from Giorgio Armani. It's the shade 103 in the Lip Maestros. So nice. It's matte right now, but it's like creamy. And I really like that. So it's very comfortable to wear. I'm actually not going to touch it up with this though. I'm going to touch it up with this from Hourglass. I talked about this before Christmas when I picked it up. This is the shade, I want to say child or unreal. I'm not sure, but this is the best nude lip gloss I have ever owned. The texture of it is gorgeous and the colour is 
perfect yeah that's my my little touch up done i'm really enjoying my makeup at the moment i like the big brows the big fluffy brows i was enjoying the big fluffy brows anyway but since i got the gel marker duo i'm just so so obsessed with it i'm also wearing my raimi earrings which i'm just so obsessed with right now they're so pretty i really never would have thought this would be my vibe but she sent me a couple of pieces for the launch and then i ended up picking up these two pairs and i just love them also got the rings as well they're so pretty. Also got a book I'm really enjoying at the moment. And I will probably, well, hopefully have finished it by the time this goes live. It's called The Third Wife by Lisa Jewell. And I just read loads, I've read loads of her books now. I'm really not sure where the story is going. You can see how far in I am. I'm not sure where it's going, but I'm enjoying the journey. And then after that, I'm going to start Little Fires Everywhere. Is this worth it? Have we read it? Do we like it? Or should I just watch the TV series? Because... I love Reese Witherspoon and Kerry Washington, so do I just skip this? I'm thinking no, because I have it anyway. But let me know. My kitchen is a state. This is pretty much the only clear surface that I have right now. And it's almost my bedtime, but we have dinner. Past few hours, not been good. Not good, no. Good morning, everybody. Well, wasn't yesterday just a real, I'm trying not to swear. Uh, yesterday was an experience, a real experience that I would care not to repeat and I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because it was that awful and I've harped on about it to literally everybody and you don't need to hear it. It is a new day and I'm hoping we're at the turnaround point of like some real bad luck I've been having. Like, you know that film, Just My Luck with Lindsay Lohan and was it Chris Pine? Real like tween film, you know? I go through stages where I just have real bad luck on repeat and I'm convinced it's his fault, I blame him. But yeah, that's how I kind of feel at the moment. It's just like everything, everything that could go wrong, goes wrong. Like even my dinner last night went wrong. It was bad. I got up bright and early because I literally couldn't sleep, had nightmares literally the whole night. And I've been working on some stuff for Charlotte Tilbury this morning and it's come out really well. I'm actually really happy with it. I kind of was in a bit of a funk at the beginning. Weird fact for you, but I'm a YouTuber that can't do Instagram stories, like talking Instagram stories. I really struggle. Loads of girls are just really good at doing like face to camera stuff. And honestly, if I'm not holding the camera, I can't do it. It's so strange. I don't know if it's like a mental control thing, like I have a mental block, but it's the weirdest thing. The YouTuber that can't speak on Instagram stories so bizarre but yeah once i kind of found my groove of what i wanted to do things became just a little bit easier this morning so feeling good it's only like 10 so I'm, i've done well this morning i'm excited to finish work this week for the week and uh yeah crack out the wine there is a bottle of rosé waiting for me in the fridge and it's curry night so mm. but on the posy note my skin's looking really good today apart from this this was the non vegan ice cream which we accidentally ate it's really taking it out on me at least if nothing else my skin is good i'm happy with that so yeah this is my little setup for this morning this is the super radiance resurfacing facial from charlotte tilbury which i've been working on the launch of which is so exciting i'm doing an event with them as well if you want to come i'll leave a link to it obviously partnering with them so add you know i also have these new products how can i show you these how cute is the packaging i want to eat this skin frosting skin frosting that makes it sound like ice cream or like frosting on a cake yeah that's what i'm thinking of how delicious does that sound but yeah such cute packaging so this is a new launch as well which i'm really excited to try hopefully i've got some time this weekend to test it out that'd be great
I just do such a fantastic job at vlogging this weekend. <laughs> really stupidly left my camera at home on Friday. Picked it back up on is it Saturday or Sunday. And I just couldn't get back into it. So I thought I would catch you up today. We actually went for loads of walks and I've been really out of like the routine of walking recently. And I just actually had the chance to kind of relax normally at the weekends at the moment because we're not really doing anything. Ryan and I both end up working. Like there's a never ending to-do list when you work for this yourself. There's always something you could be doing. This weekend I feel like we actually did shut off and it was really, really lovely. But yeah, other than that, it was a very uneventful weekend really. We made a roast yesterday, which was delicious i say we <laughs> i actually just hoovered whilst ryan was doing the cooking because <laughs> it's not my speciality really is it i'm really happy with my skin at the moment i have this one little tiny spot that's cropped up and i'm not sure what it's doing like you know when you don't know if it's going to be a big one or just be like a little one that kind of like flares up a little bit red and then goes away my routine has been really solid this year and i've been really happy with everything i've been so good with my spf as well so that all of the treatments that i use each night are actually like doing really good stuff honestly spf has just actually changed my skin it's been looking so good i really noticed as well like my forehead when i use spf it just looks so much better that and like cutting down on sugar makes the consistency of my skin here look so good but i've also been using the new charlotte tilbury mask which has really helped like these marks here but yeah nothing else to report really thank you by the way for all of your love on the zara haul so many of you are loving it. I will link it if you haven't seen it. But yeah, I'm gonna crack on with my day. I'm really excited because I should have a home delivery coming today. It says on my order, like confirmation that today's the estimated delivery date, but who really knows? But hopefully in the next vlog, something very exciting will be, will have arrived. I'm gonna get started with that vlog like straight away now, but I'm so excited to kind of like give you a good old like home update so i hope you guys are looking forward to that but i'm gonna leave you here thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys again on thursday love you bye